news is coming to us from Second Ward, where firefighters are battling a massive warehouse fire. Here's video from Sky 2. You can see for yourself towering flames from the scene that stretched two city blocks. Billowing smoke from that fire could also be seen for miles as firefighters work to get the flames under control. We have live team coverage for you from the 700 block of Drennan Street, beginning with Channel 2's Jonathan Martinez. Now, Jonathan, we understand you spoke with the fire chief just a short while ago about this. Yeah, in fact, guys, he just briefed us not too long ago. The good news is we're told this thing is finally under control, but we can tell you, take a look over my shoulder, several crews do still remain out here on the scene as they are monitoring and working to put out some of those hot spots. We can tell you at the height of this fire, Sky 2 was above the scene showing the flames shooting out of this building along with thick black smoke. That huge fire starting around 7 o'clock tonight, we're told, and essentially taking over what's believed to be a mattress warehouse just east of downtown. At one point, we did see a fire wheeled out on a stretcher. We're told he was taken to the hospital to get checked out for a physical injury he sustained battling this fire. In addition to the warehouse itself, we're told three nearby homes also caught fire as over 100 firefighters and nearly 30 units took on this warehouse fire that spanned, as you mentioned, almost two city blocks. Preliminary information is that no residents in this area were injured during that fire. And while the fire is now under control, the fire chief mentioned water pressure played a bit of an issue as they tried to put this thing out. We needed to get additional units in here so we can bring in hydrants from further away. Um, so we established a, essentially a relay operation uh, to bring in hydrants from further away from the scene uh, to be able to have enough uh, water here uh, for the operation. As you see behind me, we have an aerial operation. We have various uh, hand lines that are, that are operating. Um, and it's quite a large area that we're trying to protect. And again, firefighters tell us they do plan to be out here for at least a couple of more hours monitoring some of those hotspots. As for the cause of this fire, well, that remains under investigation. We are reporting live just east of downtown. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Jonathan, thank you. Our team coverage continues now with Channel 2's Keith Garvin. Keith, we understand that several nearby homes have been damaged in this fire, and people in that immediate area were told to leave. Uh, that is correct, Dominique and Bill. Deputy constables here working on the east side of the fire say that they were asking people to leave, but when we got here, there were also families already who decided to evacuate on their own. Now, when we got to this neighborhood here in the second ward, there were families who were leaving because the the smell and the smoke from the fire was just too much. They had left with their babies, their pets, what little belongings that they could carry. But because the smoke from the fire had become so overwhelming, most people say they decided to leave the majority of their household items behind. But there were some people who lived next door to and directly across the street from the location of that fire. It's way too close to us, so we're just we're just going to leave. It's the best thing to do right now. We can't stay with the kids. It smells too bad. Is your house safe? Uh, it should be. Uh, we, we got, I mean, I'm, we're, our house is staring at, directly at the fire. So, uh, we're, but we're across the street, so we got a good, you know, good street of concrete that's keeping it away. But, uh, I mean, we shut everything off, so everything shut off, and just going to try to see what it looks like in the morning. And back here live again, it was those homes that were in the immediate area that uh, deputies and firefighters were asking people to leave from. Now, as you can see here, firefighters and deputy constables not allowing anyone into the neighborhood right now. We have ambulances and also fire engines that are blocking the road. So it's likely the families who were evacuated would not be returning until sometime tomorrow morning anyway. Reporting live from Second Ward, Keith Garvin, KPRC Channel 2 News.